Hey YouTube, so this is a quick video on the SageCom 5260 fast router. This is just a video on how to do port forwarding. I think it's applicable to anyone running Home Assistant who wants to do port forwarding as well, but specifically, this is for the 5260. <laughs> So my old router died and I had to get a new one from Spectrum Cable. So my new one is a SageCom Fast 5260 router. I looked all over the internet. I couldn't really find any good information on how to do port forwarding. So I managed to figure it out. I just wanted to make a quick video for anyone else who is looking to do port forwarding. For Home Assistant, I need to do some port forwarding on the router so that we can get, you know, so I can get to, uh, get to my Home Assistant uh, uh, instance from outside the networks. So here's a quick video. Let's let's go to let's jump in the computer. And we're gonna go to our router page, which is typically 192.168.1.1. That's if it's default if you haven't changed it. I did change mine to 10.1. There we go. We're gonna put in our default password. So uh, if you haven't changed it, it's admin, admin. So the Sage, I my old modem was an RS modem and there was a different configuration for port forwarding. Uh, this SageCom, it seems like it doesn't have as much uh, control. But basically we're gonna click access control. The interface is nicer though. I do like all the icons, port forwarding. Now I set up my port forward, so I'm just gonna show you what it shows. And I'm gonna come down here. The formatting seems to be off, but basically for custom service, you're gonna type in Home Assistant. Well, I'm gonna configure Home Assistant. Depending on what you wanna forward, which port you wanna forward, you can name it what you like. We're gonna do TCP IP. You can choose, if you're not sure, just choose TCP UDP. But I know I need TCP IP. So external host, this was the part on the internet where it just, it didn't seem to have the right information. So there were lots of different things. At the end of the day, the answer is star. You just put star here. For your internal host, you'll point it to your internal server. In my case, it's gonna be my Docker host. And then you're gonna put what ports you want. So normally you would do 8123, 8123 for home assistant. I do have mine switched over to 443, so I'm gonna use those. Uh, I can do 443. You can also, if you're doing duck DNS or you want to do a different port forward where you want it to come in on one port and then go to the Home Assistant uh, port, you can change it to, you can do it this way. So external port would be 443, internal port would be 8123. Be aware when you do this kind of port forwarding with this SageCom, I've learned, it does not support NAT loopback. So, if you're on the inside of your network and you were to hit this box on 443, it would not do the, uh, the port forward to 8123. That only would happen if you're coming from the outside. So that's called NAT loopback. It's not supported by this box. There are different ways around it. What I ended up doing was I ended up just changing my home assistant port to 443. So now I don't need it to actually jump to a different port. Uh, we just use that, that standard port. Uh, once you put this, once you put this in, you'll then walk over here, you'll click apply, it'll apply your rule, and then you'll see it when you go to the bottom, you'll see this new rule. I don't know why it doesn't go across, but the key part is this star. This means anything from the outside coming into the inside will be allowed over this port to this network. So basically that's it. It's pretty straightforward, but I could not find this information. So I said, you know what, let me just make a video, put it out there. And uh, if anyone else is going crazy looking for this information, at least they can find it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in another video. Bye.